This video is on the rule of thumb tab, and I'm going to talk about the sweeping uh, calculator that's right here. Uh, this sweeping calculator is intended to give you a rule of thumb as to where the sweeping might need to land on a given project. The way it works is it uses all the trucking that comes on the job, since they're the ones trucking out onto the job, and then you can specify, it'll help you to figure out how many sweeping hours are needed in order to handle the amount of trucking that's uh, trucks going on and off the job. So the first way that you do it is you go into heavy bid and you go to cost reports and then material and sub requirements uh, uh, report. And then I did a little screenshot here. You take off permanent materials and you put trucking on and then do totals, totals only. When the report runs, you'll see a whole bunch of different uh, numbers, but the two you care about is this one right here. This is truck driver. That's the total amount of truck driver hours and then the least truck and pup out, um, hours. And so you care about those two numbers. So in this case, you have 763 uh, total truck hours and 322 least truck hours. And uh, that'll give us the total truck hours. The next thing that you want to do is you want to get um, how many hours of heavy importing and exporting you have on the job. Um, sweeping works a little bit different. Usually you need a little bit more sweeping when you're hauling really heavy onto a job or off of a job. So the easiest way to get the amount of heavy hauling when you have a lot of trucks coming on and off is, let's say it's imported fill, you want to see how many hours the dozer is going to work. Because all the hours he works, the trucks are going to be coming on and off the job. So you can get that out of heavy bit as well. And for the, for the sake of this example, we're going to assume that the dozer is going to be working for 50 hours. Now, the next part we put in here is the average trucks that you're going to be using for heavy hauling. In this case, we're going to say that we're going to use eight trucks to feed that dozer. The next thing we do is uh, we need to put in the average trucks for light hauling. So that's bedding, that's gravel under slab, that's road base, those kinds of things. And usually you only have two or three trucks that kind of feed the different crews as they go. So in, the, in this example, we're going to use three trucks for light hauling. Next section is hours per day for the heavy hauling. So that's the hours per day that the sweeper is going to be working to take care of these eight trucks. And so we're going to have four hours of sweeping to take care of those eight trucks every day. And then hours per day for light hauling. So we're going to have two hours per day to take care of those three trucks while they're hauling. So basically, you're just going to have to go hit it once or twice a day. Um, plus, that includes travel time. So really, he's going to have some travel time to and from the job, plus the sweeping while he's on the job. That gives us 20 hours for heavy hauling on this project and uh, 46 hours for light hauling to take care of the light hauling on the project, which gives us 66 sweeping hours total on the job. Now you can, that just gives you kind of a rule of thumb based on that. You can round up, you can round down depending on your aggression level, but it just gets you in the ballpark and that's why it's called the rule of thumb tab.